Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Blu-ray collection update and unboxing. If y'all don't know me, I'm David Cantu and I review movies over at CinemaDeviant.com. I started doing this recently as a way to give people a heads up as to what's coming out now and in the upcoming weeks as far as Blu-rays and DVDs go. Uh, and without further ado, let's go ahead and just get started. Let's jump right into it because we actually have a pretty good amount to, to, to take a look at today. Um, I was kind of unsure if I was going to have enough, uh, you know, uh, at least... A substantial amount to uh, show you guys but um fedex and ups uh saved the day and they brought me a bunch of stuff to to, to kind of show off to you guys so first up is the unspoken now the unspoken comes out december 6th from anchor bay home entertainment i have no idea what this is about but the cover art on it looks pretty damn cool uh so i'm pretty curious as to what's you know i guess to check it out and see what it's about as you can see, the roots here, actually, I, I really like that right there, that touch. They're like little hands and stuff like that. Sometimes, you know, the cover art makes a whole lot of difference. Sometimes it doesn't. I'll, I'll admit that. But, uh, you know, cover art, it's a good thing. Let's go ahead and open it up so we can get a better look at the back as well. Let's see here. And it does say it's from the producers of Insidious and the executive producer of... Uh, the Devil Inside, and Paranormal Activity. Now, uh, you know, when, when you get into that territory and you have a, a horror movie that's, you know, advertised as, you know, well, from the producer of such and such or the executive producer of such and such, I, I can get, I get kind of weary sometimes because um, a lot of times they do that just to kind of, you know, hype up a movie. And, and you, got, you guys probably already know that. Um, so, I don't know, man. I mean, just right off the bat, I'm uncertain. I'm curious, obviously, because of the cover art, but you never know. I'm willing to check it out either way. Um, here's the back here. If you guys want to see what it's about, I'm going to go ahead and read it with you guys while you're, while you pause it. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, it's, it looks interesting, I guess. Sounds interesting. So, I mean, horror horror all the way around is a um, is a genre that is hit and miss. Sometimes you get some really good ones. Sometimes you get some pretty bad ones. Uh, but all in all, I say keep an open mind with horror. Because sometimes you find those really nice and really cool gems out there that uh, will fall under the radar, you know, uh, if, if you don't look for them. So... Here you go. Um, all right. So the inside here, there's no uh, inside cover art or in interior art as to be expected for a DVD release. And even the uh, <laughs> the DVD art is very, uh, very just plain, just mirrored and just has the logo up there on top. Very uh, um, not creative, <laughs> I guess you could say. But, uh, you know, again, I I'm... I'm willing to give it a shot. Uh, now they did use a case that has this, these uh, you know, little deals here, for like a second disc. I I don't know why. Maybe it was just a cheaper, I guess a cheaper, uh, I guess case to get. I don't know, but I find that kind of strange, to have that in a uh, very standard DVD release. Anyway, so here goes the back front and spine of the unspoken and again like i said the unspoken does come out december 6th from anchor bay home entertainment so if you are at least even the slightest bit curious i do suggest checking it out because who knows you might end up digging it you really will uh, again you know there, there's been movies out there like um i remember watching uh the movie freeway for the first time a long time ago in the in the 90s and um, that was a movie that I, I knew nothing about. And I watched it, and uh, it it floored me. And it, and, it, 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 and I'm not going to say, it, it wasn't really a horror movie, but it was more of like a thriller. Um, and uh, th that's a perfect example, though, because I knew nothing about it. I decided just to go ahead and watch it, and I loved it. It was a, it was a great movie. Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Next up is Decommissioned decommissioned uh and that comes out december 6th from lionsgate and it does star um johnny is it messner vinnie jones and james 
Remar. Um, James Remar, I, I, I've never heard of. Uh, Johnny Messer, I want to say I, I have. Vinny Jones, of course. You know, of course you've heard of Vinny Jones. You know, uh, he's had various roles in uh, was it Snatch. Uh, but m most importantly, he's coined this phrase. I'm the juggernaut, bitch! <laughs> yeah, so, and it made its way into a movie. A Brett Ratner movie. A Brett Ratner X-Men movie. But it's not even in continuity anymore, so it doesn't even matter. So, whatever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just move along. Alright, so... Here we go. Let's go ahead and pop this open so you get a better look at the back here. All right. Making a mess as always. Let's go ahead and pop this open. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and suspect that there's probably not too much inside uh, to, uh, you know, freak out over. Probably no blue or no DVD cover art. Um, I'm going to. Again, go out on a limb and say, no interior artwork as well. Let's go ahead and see if I'm right. Well, I guess kind of. <laughs> no interior artwork. Uh, the typical uh, Lionsgate, like a, like a, I've showed you in the past, the grayed out releases. Uh, the, the disc art here does have the logo on top. And that's about it. Let's go ahead and look at the back here. It's back front and spine now this photo right here on the back does remind me a lot of uh what's those movies like white house down and olympus has fallen let's go ahead and see what it's about it's gonna get a little closer all right i just want to pause it all right uh it, it looks interesting i mean it sounds interesting i should say um i'm not going to say that it's um, probably going to be my kind of movie, you know, to be perfectly honest. But it sounds interesting enough to check out, at least. And it does, like I said, come out uh, December 6th from Lionsgate. And again, it is decommissioned. Of course, you're going to put Vinnie Jones up on the cover as well. What was that tagline at the bottom? So they set him up. He'll hunt them down. Of course, you have to say it like that, of course. So, all right. So next up. Uh, now, the next film uh, that I'm going to be showing is a film. Actually, I, I, I actually caught in the theaters. Um, life didn't uh, get in its way. And I actually uh, got, a, got a chance to check this one out. And I really liked it. I actually really liked it. Um, it uh, surprised me in a lot of ways. And that is uh, Don't Breathe. And Don't Breathe comes out November 29th from Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Um, this is uh, from uh, the director of The Evil Dead, the, the Evil Dead remake, uh, Fede, uh, what's it, what's his name? Uh, was it uh, Fede Alvarez? Um, I absolutely love his work. Uh, the way he reinvented the Evil Dead was so awesome. And, um, you know, he didn't do uh, the jump scares and the, the campy stuff. Uh, you know, just because there was a reason behind everything that he did. And a lot of that transferred over to this movie as well, uh, Don't Breathe. And it's one of those films that kind of, it, it makes you think one thing for the first, like, quarter of the movie, first half of the movie, something like that. Um, and then it totally, uh, I'm, I don't want to, I, I really don't want to cuss. But mine F's you <laughs> towards the second half. And it just totally makes you think a completely different thing uh, towards the rest of the movie. And uh, by the end, you are just like left with, well, basically what, like what she's doing right there. It's like, oh my God, literally covering your mouth. And you'll understand why. If you've seen it already, you'll understand why. <laughs> you'll be left just like that. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this open. Uh, here goes the back here. You guys want to check out what it's about. Let me get a little closer so you can see the special features as well. And much like all the resale releases, uh, the little digital HD sticker is on the back. It does have digital copy inside. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see where's my opener. And this is uh, from Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Sony Pictures doesn't usually 
have those little uh, stickers on the front or on the top I should say so it's helpful to, to hurry up and uh, open this thing and hurry up and have me make a mess everywhere because I love making again honestly I I, uh, I semi complain about making messes during this time but it's actually really fun to me because I get to just throw shit around I cussed anyway whatever anyway <laughs> does have digital copy right here all right and no interior artwork but it does have disc art here really cool I like that much like uh the back right there pretty much the same photo just not in red and orange really cool I actually really like it I I, I actually prefer it with this color here rather than the the red and orange in the back and does have that little clip here that if you don't like it you can always kind of snap it in and then it does allow you to have that opening in the inside so if you want to clip it that way and there you go the front back and spine for don't breathe and it does come out like i said november 29th from sony pictures home entertainment so i'm actually uh pretty excited about revisiting this movie because i really liked it a lot um, there was, um, there were moments that I, uh, there were certain things that I didn't agree with. I, I guess I could say, um, the, uh, I guess the, the tempo and the momentum of, of some of the movie and a lot of it uh, reminded me, and I'm sure the, 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 the theory or the review of people, uh, you know, seeing this film and comparing it to another film has been out there and it, I, I completely agree with it. It reminds me a lot of Panic Room, in a, in a sense. Um, and um, if you, I guess, want to see what I'm talking about, look it up. You can look it up uh, here on YouTube and uh, and see the comparisons. A lot of it is pretty spot on, especially with with the with one of the main actors in that. Well, I don't want to say main actors, but he's like the the leader of the pack, um, and how he almost is, is is very very similar to Jared Leto's character in Panic Room. I, I, I'm not going to say any more. Check it out if you can. Look for it. Uh, if I find a video, I'll link it down in the description below so you guys can check it out. But I I, I do agree with it for the most part. Um, next up is Baked in Brooklyn. And Baked in Brooklyn comes out November 29th from Well Go USA. Um, now, uh, I... Again, another movie that I know nothing of, but I, I, I I'm not gonna lie. I kind of have like a small, small celebrity crush on, uh, on her here, Alexandra Daddario. Um, she, she's kind of she, okay. I, I don't want to say hot, man, because you know that's kind of degrading in a way. But she's she's uh, she's good looking. <laughs> I'll say that. And then this guy here, this dude's hilarious. In uh, in Silicon Valley, one of my favorite characters, uh, Big Head, <laughs> really cool. So let's go ahead and pop this open here and see what this is. See what this is about. All right, and here goes the back here. If you guys want to read what it's about, pause the screen there. All right, and now it doesn't look like it has any sort of a uh, special features at all. Um, as far as I can tell, which is a bit of a bummer because even, you know, even if it's a, if it's a small making of feature, um, it's, it's appreciated. It doesn't look like there's anything at all. Not even, you know, a photo gallery or anything like that. So it's, it's a bit of a bummer. Um, it does look like it's a, an interesting comedy <laughs> dark. Maybe, I don't know. It's, it almost seems like it's kind of like a dark comedy. In a way, um, but either way, I mean, it's interesting enough to check out. It does have her in it. She's, she's pretty great, pretty awesome. If you haven't seen True Detective Season 1, I suggest you check it out. Just for her small part in it. <laughs> I'm going to move on <laughs> and open it up here. There's no interior artwork as to be expected, um, and but there is some, some disc art. It's just the the text there says baked in Brooklyn, which even that is it's pretty pretty creative, pretty awesome. Um, you know, there's nothing too too cheesy about it or anything like that. 
this card in general, like I, like I've always stated in the past, is much appreciated. And here you go, the front, back, and spine. And Baked in Brooklyn does come out tw November 29th from Well Go USA. All right, so check it out then. And of course, you know, as always, um, support the, these uh, these smaller you know uh, distributors. The smaller distributors that put out these, uh, I guess you could call them like indie type movies. You know, they do a good job at doing it, and they do a good job at, at handpicking these these titles, these movies out there that are interesting enough to people that you know th they'll they'll gravitate to some people and others. It's kind of it's almost like a word of mouth type of deal. You know what I mean? If there's enough people you know talking about them and and suggesting them to other people, then you're gonna find a really good movie out there again like i've said in the past like i said with you know the other the the first releases that that uh i was showing you know sometimes you get surprised so why not why not just check out a movie if you're if you're bored one day um moving on <laughs> next up is the secret life of pets now this is again you know this isn't this is no indie movie <laughs> secret life of pets uh does come out december 6th from universal studios home entertainment it is on 4k does have the 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and digital HD copy inside. Does come along with uh, three mini movies as well. These little short films, I'm assuming. Looks really cool. I love the fact that, that Universal, whenever they put out their 4K uh, releases, does have like this almost like a reflective type of a uh, type of deal on their uh, on their slip covers. Really cool. They're really shiny, really nice looking. I really appreciate that as well. Really awesome. If you guys want to see what's what it's about, if you guys don't know what it's about, you can pause the screen there. Um, now there is not really any. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any. No, no special features on the 4K disc. All the all the special features are going to be on the Blu-ray disc itself. Um, now I, I'm I'm looking forward to the day that uh, you know the 4K discs are going to have some special features that can only be seen on 4k um that'd be pretty cool one of these days i'm sure it's going to happen eventually as far you know uh, eventually when uh you know the format starts moving more and more towards 4k um if you know this does you know stick around which i'm sure it will because you're seeing more and more of it lately but anyway let's go ahead and pop this open slip covers are always awesome i'm gonna pop this open here and like i've stated in the past these 4K, you know, uh, these 4K, uh, uh, let's get this off here real quick. I'm sorry. Uh, these four 4K cases are really awesome, man. I love them. Just again, because you know they're black. They, it's just different. It's a different kind of kind of look to them. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look in the inside here. It was the Blu-ray copy and the four 4K copy. Now, this actually is a little different from what I'm used to. Um, if you've seen my videos in the past, the uh, Universal releases usually have you know a blue, uh, a blue little label down here, and the rest of the disc is reflective. Now, this is a it looks like a white label, and then this part of the disc is actually like very, uh, very like I don't know. It looks like there's a label over it, so it's not as reflective, you know. And then the logo there on top, the logo is not even colored or anything like that. But I do appreciate the fact that they do have some really cool uh, disc art on the 4K release, and you know it differentiates both both releases, so that's always appreciated as well. So that way you don't get confused in any way. All right, and then there goes the front, back, and spine. All right, and like I said, uh, Secret Life of Pets does come out December 6th from Universal Studios Home Entertainment, so catch it then. Um, I really love this movie. I thought it was a very, very cute movie, um, but let's be real. Let's do some real talk, okay? Um, this movie, the, uh, the plot is basically Toy Story, in a way. You have, uh, you know, I guess a dog that has been, you know the best friend of this person for many years 
And then another dog comes along that uh, becomes very well liked as well. And they don't, these two dogs don't like each other. One dog tries to get the other dog kicked out. You know, what does that sound like? Woody and Buzz. And, and basically, you know, they both get lost. And they're trying to make their way back home. And that's very, very much like Toy Story. If you really think about it, um, a lot of the, the, the beats are, are that, you know, that format, I should say. So, um, and you know what? If, if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. Because it's going to be forever in your mind now. <laughs> and if you haven't even realized it, it's going to be forever in your mind now. So when you see it again, you're going to think Toy Story the whole way through. <laughs> but it is a really great movie. I, I really liked it a lot. Kevin Hart's little bunny character is really funny too. Uh, next up is Mechanic Resurrection. And that is out. Actually, it's out now from Lionsgate. Now, uh, honestly, I've never seen the Mechanic film. Uh, the, you know, the previous one. But uh, Jason Statham in action movies is always great. He's always a really great uh, action star. So, um, I think there was one, what was it, uh, Wild Card, I thought was really good as well. Um, and that was one I felt like flew under the radar to a lot of people. And I thought that it, w it was just as good as like uh, the Transporter and the Mechanic and things like that. So, um, I'm sure Mechanic Resurrection is going to be just, you know, it's going to be up to par as all of his other action movies as well. If you guys want to see what it's about. Okay, pause the screen there. I'll go ahead and get a little closer so you can pause it on the special features. Now, the special features, it actually, um, see, this is what I mean. This 4K disc actually has bonus features on it. Um, it has uh, a couple of uh, a couple of features anyway. And then the Blu-ray has bonus features as well. Now, how many each? I, I don't know. It, the Blu-ray... Is only showing two special special features and the 4k disc is showing three now does the blu-ray have the other special features that are on the 4k i don't know i'll report back uh if i find that out or when i find that out, i should say um let's go ahead and pop this open where's my opener all right the 4k cases are awesome I love them. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to, to seeing what they do. Like, if they're going to do something special with these 4K uh, cases one day. Like, uh, you know, when, when the Incredible Hulk came out, you know how they did the Blu-ray case green instead? I wonder if they're going to do something like that one day. Maybe, like, do, like, a translucent black. That'd be really awesome. It's going to look gray, probably, or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to them getting kind of creative with it. Let's see? And I already hear it. Oh, man. I hear it, and you're going to know what I mean in a second. Listen. No. But, again, I, I guess with 4Ks, you know, and if it's a Blu-ray inside, I'm a little bit more okay with it. If it was a DVD, I'd probably be freaking out just a little bit more. I'm going to pop this open. All right. Okay, it was the Blu-ray that, that came loose. It does come with digital copy. All right. And here it goes. The inside here. This is the 4K copy and then the Blu-ray copy. They did reuse the same cover art for each disc. So it is a little harder to differentiate. You would have to really, you know, uh, look at, at what which disc you're grabbing and make sure you do spot the 4K Ultra HD. Um, there's been many times where you know, my wife has grabbed the movie and just popped it in and say, if it, you know, Blu-ray wise, she's, uh, she's opened one up and popped in the DVD version instead of the Blu-ray version, just because, you know, discard, they're both the same. You can't differentiate. Uh, so sometimes it does help. Now in this case, you know, they, they both have the same, but there at least is this little uh, little label here that's actually like right in the middle so hopefully you won't be able to miss it but anyway so yeah uh and then there goes the front back and spine of mechanic resurrection and it is out now from lionsgate all right 
can pop this back in its slip cover. Again, this is a really cool slip cover as well. Uh, it's not like the uh, like the other one where it has like this shininess to it or like this shiny uh, portion to it, but it is very reflective, especially up on top. Really cool. Uh, next up, let's, hold on, let me get this out of the way before I go. To, I got static electricity on me. Uh, <laughs> next up is looking the complete series and movie, and that is out now as well from HBO Home Entertainment. I know nothing of this. Uh, of this show or movie, but it feels really heavy. Like it feels like there's a pretty good amount of discs in it. Um, but let's go ahead and, and uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the back. See if you guys want to check that out. I'm gonna read it with you guys. Okay. All right. I mean, it, it does sound interesting. It is. It does. Uh, it looks like it, it focuses on uh, on the gay community and things like that. So I mean. Stuff like that, I, I, don't, I don't mind watching, to be perfectly honest with you. Because, you know, uh, it's being open-minded about uh, about entertainment in general. It's good. It's good. And, uh, you know, it does show here... Okay. It does show here that, I mean, it does offer views and opinions that will, uh, I mean, even kind of, I guess you could say, uh, connect with, with just... Anybody in general. So that's really good. I'm willing to definitely check this out. That's really cool. Oh, it man, it does feel really thick. There goes a the slip cover there. Not really too much of a difference as far as what's on the back. Let's go ahead and pop this open. All right. Okay. All right, it does come with digital copy. Wow, there is a pretty good amount on here. Okay. Okay, let's go through them. All right. So disc one. Disc two. Disc three. Disc four. And disc five. All right, so disc five looks like is the movie. Uh, disc one has episodes one through four. Disc two has episodes five through eight. Disc three is season two episodes one through five and this four is season two episodes six through ten so it only ran for two seasons apparently and um i'm very surprised that they were actually able to cram it uh cram it into you know a couple of discs like that into one package so that's really actually that's, that's really cool so if they're able to do that i would hope that maybe uh hbo you know would be able to I guess do something like this with other shows moving forward maybe I don't know or maybe just short-lived shows that'd be kind of interesting as well so again that's looking the complete series and movie and it is out now from HBO home entertainment all right next up now next up these two uh, I have two more releases uh, that were sent to me that um, I'm actually really excited about and um, mainly because they're movies that I watched growing up. And I, I think I've said in the past about uh, me and, and friends of mine or a friend of mine um, wandering through Blockbuster Video back in the day, just picking up horror movies to watch. Things that, you know, uh, just appeal to us just by first look. You know what I mean? Uh, back then, we were very, you know, uh, you know, very much just about the cover. Of a movie uh, and if it looked interesting then we would just grab it and this one it was one of them <laughs> it was uh, Return of the Living Dead 3 and this one is uh, actually out now from uh, from Lionsgate and this is from the from the Vestron video collector series now if you don't know what Vestron video is I suggest you look them up because they have released some of the best genre movies best horror movies out there in the past um, was it Chopping Mall? I believe Blood Diner is one of them. Uh, it, amazing stuff. Cheesy stuff, but really fun to watch. Like, super fun to watch. And, uh, you know, if you're not uh, aware of the Return of the Living Dead series, you know, zombies, dude. Like, zombies. That's all you really need to know is zombies. Now, this one did take a different, uh, a different approach to zombies. 
Uh, they weren't the typical Night of the Living Dead, George Romero zombies. Uh, these were just a tad different. Uh, and in this one, they actually talked uh, in some cases and stuff like that. But here you go. If you guys have not seen it whatsoever, if you're a little on the younger side and uh, have not experienced uh, Return of the Living Dead 3, there goes what it's about. And then there goes the special features. All right. Let's go ahead and pop this open. I've been waiting, waiting to pop this open. And I'm so glad that they have a slip slip cover on it. Really cool. All right. Let's go ahead and... All right. Now, this Return of the Living Dead wasn't my favorite Return of the Living Dead movie. But it was, again, very fun to very fun to watch and it's a very quotable movie as well so i suggest checking it out um whenever you can the first like maybe 30 minutes of it is pretty awesome when they uh the, you know the the characters uh bust into you know the facility where they're testing these zombies and stuff like that fantastic i love it um now no interior artwork and no digital copy or anything like that. But it does have the uh, the Blu-ray cover art there. Which is basically the cover. If you can see there. Um, I w wish that they would have maybe commissioned some uh, some interesting or unique you know, art for this release. Since it is like a collector series. But I'm okay with it as is. And there goes the front, back, and spine of this release. Like I said, I highly suggest checking this out. Uh, really fun to watch. And actually, you know what? Um, I did uh, a couple of years ago. I did like a, I guess you could call it like a a, a, a music video or like a uh, just a clip show. I guess you could. I'm, I'm going to call it a clip show uh, with some with some music behind it and had a lot of uh, you know zombie uh, references to it. A lot of zombie clips, you know, kind of mashed in. With some uh, with some music and stuff like that, and I did that a couple years ago. Very fun to watch, and one of the one of my memorable clips that I used in that video was of this zombie here. And again, within the first like eh, maybe like 15 minutes or something like that, you'll see that zombie freaked me the hell out when I was a kid. But I love it, and you know, it just, if you guys are curious what I was what I was talking about about that video, I'm gonna go ahead and link it in the description below so you can check it out. Um, couldn't put it on YouTube, so I think I have it like on a Vimeo or something like that. Uh, I'll link it down below. Uh, but anyway, Return of Living Dead 3 is out now. Um, and this is the best drawn video collector series from Lionsgate. So check that out. I highly suggest picking this up if you can. Uh, next up, and here's another, this is another movie, uh, that, you know, when I, uh, I grew up, you know, when I was, I guess, a little younger, I remember watching this movie and... I liked it. I liked it so much. And it, I guess you could kind of classify it as a zombie movie. Zombie-ish movie in a way. And uh, I remember it, it, it's a sequel. And I remember watching the first one. And the first one felt very, very different from the second one. But I love the second one because it was so... Uh, very. It was very campy. Almost comedic in a sense. And it's... Chud too, Bud the Chud. Uh, now the uh, the cover is very deceiving. I, I'm just gonna state right off the bat. Um, and if you don't know, Chud stands for Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dweller. Um, and basically, it's about these creatures that that dwell in the sewers and things like that. Um, this movie, however, you know, again, like the first one was was very. It was very, I guess you could say, serious and things like that. But this movie, however, felt very campy, very funny, very comedic. Almost had this like Weekend at Bernie's type of uh, type of feel to it. And uh, I'm going to show you the back here. And that's the chud in the movie. Uh, basically, these guys reanimate uh, the, you know, one of these chuds, these corpses. And it comes alive and just starts eating people. And he uh, walks around saying, meat, meat, meat. That's what I remember the most out of this movie. I love it. I still love it to this day. But it's it's very much, um, 
a departure from what the original movie was, if I remember correctly. Um, wasn't the same. And there goes the special features there. Um, this movie, um, years later, years later, there was a movie called, uh, oh my God, what is what was it called? I almost want to say it was called like Fred or something like that. Ah, man, I can't remember. If I remember, I'll go ahead and put a photo right here up on the corner. Oh, anyway, that movie reminded me a lot of this movie um, because it was very, again, like I said, campy and stuff like that. It felt the same to a sense. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this open. All right. This, I, this one I really cannot wait to watch again. It's been a very long time since I've seen it. So I'm very excited. All right, and again, Vestron Video. Just look up the company Vestron Video and see what they put out in the past. And I highly suggest if you've never heard of Vestron Video or anything like that, go down the line. Like go down the line and watch all those all those movies that they put out over the years, and you'll have a horror horror movie history lesson right there. Uh, okay, much like uh, Return of the Living Dead Three, no interior artwork at all um there is some discard but it's pretty much the cover again like i said i re really wish that they would have maybe uh commissioned some some really unique artwork for the disc and uh and the actual blu-ray itself but again you can't complain i think i'm getting spoiled with arrow video releases to be on <laughs> to be perfectly honest i think i'm getting a little spoiled with that um all right so there goes the front back and spine of the title and again chud 2 is out now from the vestron video collector series and it is put out by lionsgate so again another title that i highly suggest picking up if you have not or if you have not seen it or if you have not seen it in a long time i highly suggest picking this up it's a really fun movie it really is it's a fun movie and okay and i have a couple of uh of other titles here that uh, these are these were personal pickups, I guess you could say, and I have already done unboxing videos for these, so I'll just kind of run through them really quick. And if you guys want to, you know, check out the actual un actual unboxing video, uh, they are on the channel as well. And this is the Kimchi DVD release of Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Really awesome. Loved everything that they've done with it. I'm not going to go through everything, but I'll just kind of show you here. There's a steel book inside with a booklet and some really cool um, character cards and things like that. And then there goes the back there with the numbered card. It's $2.99 out of $1,350, which is really cool. Okay, and next up is Captain America the Winter Soldier. This is a lenticular steel book from Zavi. Um, now, this is an exclusive from Zavi. Yeah, I, I love the, the, the lenticular you know, magnet up on the front here. Doesn't really do much to be honest, but this, which is really fun to do. And there goes the special features, which usually are about the same as, as the usual, you know, Captain America Winter Soldier uh, releases. And then Avengers Age of Ultron, same. Uh, Zavi exclusive lenticular steel book, right? Again, doesn't do, do much but that. Upon looking, you know, at these releases more and more, these Zabby releases, I'm kind of a little disappointed in a way. Uh, they're really cool as hell, but I, I, I feel like they could have done more. A little bit more, at least. And then there goes special features, if you guys want to see what's on there. Again, typical stuff that you've probably seen on the Age of Ultron uh, Blu-rays in the past. Okay, so these are all the titles that I have to show today. If you guys dug this video at all, if you found it informative, in any sort of capacity, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. It does help me out a lot. It really does. If you guys are thinking about picking up any of these titles whatsoever, there will be links down in the description below. And with all that being said, we will catch you next time. Bye.